Welcome to the installation guide for Flix. This video will guide you through the steps for launching and configuring Flix Server, which manages everything behind Flix. Basic knowledge of systems and databases is recommended to install Flix Server. Before you configure Flix Server, make sure you have MySQL 5.7 installed. Instructions for doing this can be found in a knowledge base article for which there is a link in the description below. After downloading Flix Server from our website, the first thing you need to do is set up your config file. You'll need to set up the following options to start your Flix server and connect to the database. Hostname is the name of the machine on which you're setting up Flix server. Make sure this option is set to a publicly available hostname or IP address, which other machines can communicate with. The Flix database can either be on the same machine as the server or another machine, in which case it needs to allow external connections. The config file is also where you put any additional settings, like if you want to use shared storage or set up LDAP authentication, which we'll go through in another video. The config file is read by default from the same directory as the Flix server binary file. You'll need a Flix 6 license to complete this tutorial. If you don't have a license, contact your sales representative or email us at sales at if you plan on using a single Flix server, all you need is a node-locked license on the machine running the server. If you plan on using more than one Flix server, we recommend using a floating license, hosted either on one of the Flix servers or from another dedicated license server. For more detailed information on licensing, watch the Foundry Licensing Utility tutorial videos. The link is in the description below. You should now be able to start Flix server by running the following command. Check your firewall settings to make sure access is granted on the port through which Flix server communicates with client machines. When you launch Flix client, you'll be presented with this login page. The server address needs to be entered into Flix clients in the following format, hostname, then port. For example, if my server's hostname is this and the HTTP port is 8080, then I would need to enter the Flix server address as this. To verify that Flix client can connect to Flix server, you can log in using the credentials for the user automatically generated. The username and password are both admin. Remember, if you plan on having remote Flix users, the hostname port needs to be accessible from outside the network, generally over VPN. To set up Flix Server to use LDAP or OAuth authentication, refer to our documentation online. Once you're logged into Flix, the first page you'll see is the Shows page. You can now start setting up your projects, which is covered in our Getting Started for Production Staff tutorial video. Thanks very much for watching.